Hello and welcome! This is Rufalmonger, and my friends, the promised time has come. The Guilty Gear Strive open beta test number two is upon us. And of course, I have all the info and details you need for it. First off, when is it gonna be? Well, in the handy infographic, it will be running for us in North America at least, uh, not in the GMT time zone, May 13th through May 16th. It will be getting later in the night on the 13th and ending earlier in the day on the 16th. Download time starts 8 p.m. Pacific, so that'll be 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and ends in the morning at 8 o'clock in the morning PST, which will be 11 a.m. in Eastern Standard Time. So you can play anytime you want during this period. It's open 24 seven, no like select timings or anything like that. And you can also, if you have not already, download the client early. You can download the client starting on May the 7th, starting roughly around eight in the morning Pacific Standard Time. Now, like before, this will be PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 only. Both versions will have cross play with each other. I know a lot of PC people, they want the beta and hey, I agree with you. But there's a lot of reasons why Arc System Works doesn't do it, not the least of which is they don't want the game data mined to death before the game even comes out. We will have all the playable modes we had before. So we will have proper versus mode, and yes, this includes two player versus like locally, so you can do that instead of just online play. Tutorial mode, training mode, and your online matches. Now to note, it doesn't include every mode, like challenge mode and all that kind of stuff is not present in the game. We will have it at the retail launch, but not during the beta. And who's playable? Well, everyone that was playable in the last beta, so 13 out of 15 characters. Oh, and by the way, Anji and Eno will finally be playable. So we've seen some trailers, but there's almost no footage of these characters out there, and we finally get our hands on them. There is also balance changes from the old beta, and what are those balance changes? Well, hey, your guess is as good as mine, as we have the lovely Japanese-style answer of Battle Balance has been adjusted after the open beta test in February. That's it. That's all we got to go on. Now, we may not be getting character-specific changes in the notes, although they're very assuredly there in the game, but at least we are getting some system-specific changes, and maybe not all of them, but it's a good hint of where things are going. When the same move is used more than a set number of times in a combo, the opponent now falls more quickly. So this is helpful for preventing infinites and just, you know, various kind of loot combos that may have been too strong. Aerial actions in general have been adjusted. Adjustments vary for each character, fair enough, whatever. Using aerial attacks, double jumps, and air dashes now cause recovery on landing. So it's probably not too bad if the enemy blocks, but if you whiff and you have extra landing lag, that can be a problem. Jumps and air dashes now cover less distance, so they don't go quite as far as they are. Once again, this is in tune with nerfing jumping because everyone has been complaining about jumping. Characters now enter an airborne state later after a jump begins, meaning effectively, and this is a little more advanced, there's more pre-jump frames, so there is less chicken blocking. In the previous builds of the game, chicken blocking as in just jumping and blocking, so you don't have to worry about high or low mix-up because in the air you block, you just block everything, right? So this is just a direct nerf for that, making holding up back less strong. So removing that and removing the power of chicken blocking. If you don't know and none of that makes sense to you, just trust me, it's a good thing overall. The command normal forward and punch has been adjusted to work as an anti-air attack and it varies for each character. Now for some characters like Potemkin, it already was designed to be an anti-air attack. But for other characters, just because it had upper body invincibility doesn't mean it was designed necessarily to be an anti-air attack. But now it looks like for a lot of the cast, it will be more of a universal anti-air. So if you catch the jump, well, there you go. Hitboxes for all forward and punches have been expanded upwards and the hurtbox has been reduced and the attacks are now active for longer, meaning they're out there for longer. So it'll be easier to deal with jumping attacks. As a Potemkin fan, just editorialized, makes me a little salty because it made his a lot more unique. Now everyone's more on the same level, I guess, but whatever, I guess it's good for the overall health of the game. And finally, recovery time has been increased after blocking an attack while in midair, and overall balance has been adjusted from general game mechanics to individual character abilities, and we'll have to see how that works when we get our hands on the game. So that is already a lot to parse through already, but hey, there is more, because remember the lobbies? The lobbies have been changed up. So the lobbies now have stations on them, preventing the giant jumbled mess of everyone being on top of each other, and thank God for it. 
It still has the same aesthetic, but sure, whatever. I didn't mind the aesthetic. I thought it was kind of cute. And now it is widescreen, so we don't have to have that giant news feed on the right. So already infinitely more usable. And yes, rematches have been added. So on top of the rematches being added, if you're in the rank tower, you can rematch up to three times, AKA best three out of five. And if you are in the open lobby park, you can just rematch as much as you want. So it's all good there. And on top of other features being improved, which they don't go into detail in. So once again, the beta May 13th through May 16th, you can click back to the beginning of the video, hit pause on the little infographic if you need the times. And it's exciting. I can't wait. We've all been painting. We've all been waiting for the open beta test to come back. And now it is. So of course on this channel, check the channel. There'll be all sorts of combos, videos, guides, probably a lot of gameplay footage. Check the playlist at the end of this video as I already made tons of guides and combos and all that kind of stuff. And otherwise, hey, that's the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Guilty Gear.